everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have my WWE TLC 2019 predictions for you guys. You know how these videos work. We're going to run through the entire car, breaking down all of the matchups, letting you guys know how, how I feel about the matchup, what I think is going to happen, how I think it's going to play out, where I think it's going to go moving forward, and i just tell you guys how I feel about this show overall before we get there. So I didn't know how many matches would be announced, so I wanted to wait till you know, a day before to post my predictions video, but I think that... That, uh, we do have them all announced. I could have done this video a few days ago. However, um, they didn't add any matches and stuff like that. There's only seven total matches. And to be honest with you, I feel like this show is just very lackluster, guys. There's not a lot going on with it. You know, the gimmick pay-per-views, um, I'm not a big fan of. I don't like how we have TLC and Hell in a Cell and Elimination Chamber. I wish they would just wait until a feud called for one of these matches and then just use that instead of having a whole pay-per-view named after the match itself. Kind of downplays the whole thing of it. Or just give me a creative pay-per-view name instead of TLC. Just don't name the pay-per-view the stipulation. Give me something like Armageddon, No Mercy, Backlash, Bad Blood, something like that. But to be honest with you guys, this match card really doesn't have anything that I'm just mostly looking forward to. I think there's like one or two matches in total that I'm, you know, like really hyped for or even excited for just a little bit. The rest, I'm just like, eh, don't really care what happens. There's nothing on the line. It's just like, meh. But usually, again, we say it a lot, especially here lately, it feels like. Every time I'm going into a pay-per-view and I think it's going to suck or I'm not very excited for it, they always, like, blow it out of the water or, you know, exceed my expectations. So, that's something to look forward to on the lower end. But anyways, let's shut the hell up, run down my TLC 2019 predictions and go all the way until we cover all of the matches. So, with that being said, Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started. So starting things off first, guys, we do have the Raw Tag Team Championship match between the Viking Raiders, and they are going to have an open challenge here. A lot of people think that it's going to be the Usos, which I think would be fantastic. I think they would have a really good match. I'm not sure exactly if it's going to be the Usos. You know, it's not really confirmed. It's not, you know, I don't see a lot of things on the rumor mill. I wouldn't be shocked if they just gave us the Street Profits like they did on Monday Night Raw, you know. They love to rehash feuds. They love to rehash matches, and they, they do stuff without even planning it, so I'm sure that they'll just roll out the Street Profits, and we'll have a rematch that we saw on Monday Night Raw, but regardless of whoever it is, I do think that the Viking Raiders are going to win. I mean, I guess if the Usos are turned, I would say the Usos, but uh, I'm going to go with the Viking Raiders just to be on the safe side because I think we're going to get a rematch. I don't think we're going to get anything too shocking or surprising, so I'm going to go Viking Raiders, and that's about it. Next up, guys, is the singles match between Buddy Murphy and Aleister Black, and this is definitely the match that I'm most looking forward to. Out of all the stipulation matches, out of all the things going on on the main roster, I think this is the match that I'm most looking forward to, just because both guys can go so well in the ring. I think that their uh, their talents are going to mix well. Their ring styles are going to mix very well in this matchup, and Buddy Murphy is just so freaking talented, man. You put him in the ring with anybody. Same goes for Aleister Black. These dudes are fantastic. I think they could be the future of WWE if they give us the right booking, if they book them properly. You know, they take care of them. I think that that could be the case, but uh, the way they've been booking them, that is not the case. It doesn't seem like they take care of them or value their talents or what they can do, and uh, I am not a big fan of this feud. I don't like that they've had Buddy Murphy, you know, knocking on Aleister Black's door, and Aleister Black coming out looking like a jackass, looking both ways like he's crossing a damn road. I don't know. He just looks stupid. He looks dumb, man. That's not how I think Aleister Black should be portrayed. I think that if they want to make him very well known, if they want to get his name out there, I think they should treat him as a devil-like character, as an Undertaker-esque character, and um, I don't know, man, it's just not the way that I would book him, but I don't run WWE, you know, I'm not a complete jackass here, and I'm not booking this thing, so I think this matchup is going to be very well done, and this one's kind of a tough call, but I think ultimately they are going to give the victory to Aleister Black. I'm going to go with Aleister Black picking up the win, but I think that this matchup will be very damn good. You know, Buddy Murphy, ever since he won on his little Cruiserweight Championship run, he was tearing down the house with every talent that he stepped in the ring with. Um, this match should be fire, but I am going to go with Aleister Black to win this matchup and build up some momentum moving forward. Next up, guys, is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between The Revival and The New Day, and supposedly this thing is switched to a ladder match. How did I not know this was a ladder match? I, I don't know how the hell that happened, but this is a ladder match, supposedly, if the internet is correct, and if that is the case, I think this is going to be fantastic. Um, you know, when it was just a regular tag team match, or when I thought it was a regular tag team match, I didn't expect, you know, anything too crazy. Even though I love both of these teams, I think they have very t fantastic talent, and I, I love both of these teams very much. Um, I did not know that they were 
were going to be a ladder, or this, this was going to be a ladder match. So the fact that it's a ladder match, I think this is going to be really entertaining. I think that these guys have the potential to have a really damn good football game here, and I'm excited for it, man. I'm, this pumps me up a little bit more. This makes me look forward to this matchup, and I'm hyped now. So I'm very happy to announce that now I'm looking forward to two or three matches instead of just one or two. So that is a very exciting thing for me. But, um, ooh, I, I really don't know. I think that... Uh, the Revival winning would be pretty nice. Maybe, uh, I, I'm not sure what the plans are for the New Day, but I think something cool would be, you know, uh, this is where you start building the tension, man. This is where you start building the tension for a potential breakup, for a heel turn for somebody, and you lead to their triple threat match. If you wanted to do that for WrestleMania 36, this is the time to do that. But um, who knows what they're planning. You know, I, I, I don't know why you would break them up at this moment. Um, I don't know. It's just something that you could do, and that is something that they could pot potentially start right here if they wanted to. But I think I'm going to go with the New Day retaining. I'm going to go New Day retaining over the Revival. However, I wouldn't be shocked if the Revival won the tag titles in an effort to get them to re-sign. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go New Day in my predictions. But I just, expect, I just want a really good football game out of this one. Next up, guys, we have the tables match between Rusev and Bobby Lashley with, of course, Lana in this matchup. I sold my Lana figure. That is why she's not represented here in the predictions video. But uh, I expect them to make Rusev look even dumber in this matchup. So I think that Lana is going to help Bobby Lashley win. And um, I don't know. I, I, I remember when uh, at Extreme Rules last year, Roman Reigns fighting Bobby Lashley. And I thought that match was pretty damn good. I think it was the best match on the card that night. So I'm not going to underrate Bobby Lashley in this match. I think that they could bring us to a good match and hopefully that is the case here. I love Rusev and um, I think that they have the potential to actually have a pretty good match here and that's all I'm hoping for. Not big on this feud, you know, not big on the storyline. It's just, uh, I don't know, man, just not not very good in my personal opinion, but uh, I do expect Lana to cost Rusev and uh, Bobby Lashley is going to pick up the victory. So I'm going Bobby Lashley to win with the help of Lana to make Rusev look like an even bigger cuck, an even bigger jackass, and I am going with Bobby Trashley for the football dub. Next up, guys, is a singles match between The Miz and Bray Wyatt. No Fiend, apparently, in this matchup. No championship on the line. I do like the way they booked this as far as a storyline is concerned. I like the, you know, the games that we've gotten from The Fiend. I like him playing around with Miz's family, digging deep there. But I'm hoping that this matchup is where Bray Wyatt or The Fiend or whatever will cost The Miz here and, you know, turn him heel. Give us heel Miz out of this storyline. If that's what this is leading to, I'm all for it. I just really want to see heel. Miz back. That's what we need. That's what we want. So hopefully that is the case here. And uh, I think that is what we need in this matchup. You know, he turned Seth Rollins heel. He turned ba Daniel Bryan babyface. He turned Finn Balor heel. So right here, do the same thing with the Miz. Use the hurt hand or whatever, or the heel hand or whatever you need to do. And you just use that mandible claw. Turn the Miz heel. And that is what we need from the Miz because his babyface run is just not what I like to see. It's just very hard for me to get behind him as a babyface. So uh, we Need a, we need a heel Miz in this hoe, and uh, that's what I hope that comes out of this matchup. No doubt about it, I'm going with the Miz to lose. I'm going Bray Wyatt for the dub easily. I think he should handle the Miz, and hopefully we get a you know a heel turn by the Miz later on, or a couple weeks later, whenever the hell he returns, if he gets written off TV, I'm not sure. But I'm going Bray Wyatt straight W here. No other way to book it, Bray Wyatt for the win. Next up, guys, is a tag team TLC match between the Kabuki Warriors, terrible tag team name, Kyrie Sane and Asuka taking on the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch and Charlotte here for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Now, this is what's crazy, guys. We really only have two, three title matches on this card. You have the Intercontinental title, the U.S. title, the Universal title, the WWE title, all left off of this card. Very, very ridiculous, if you ask me. The Raw Women's Championships not being defended, the SmackDown Women's Championships not being defended, and so it's kind of ridiculous that we only have like what three title matches and it's all tag team championships no singles championships are being defended on this show but going in here I'm not big on this feud I think this matchup is going to be fantastic you guys remember a year ago at TLC we saw Asuka win the women's championship over Becky Lynch and Charlotte I think in that triple threat TLC match which was a very good matchup very entertaining and that did main event the show I would not be shocked if this main evented the show but I'm not going to go with this match I'm going to go with the big dog versus trash 
But uh, I think that this matchup should be very entertaining. I think all four women can go probably for the best talents in the entire WWE. So I am very much looking forward to this match. This and Buddy Murphy versus Aleister Black are my two matches that I'm really, really looking forward to. So hopefully that is what we get here. A really good football game between four ladies. And I hope they tear the house down. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go with this thing. I don't know where they're going to book it. But I really hope the Kabuki Warriors come out on top. I do not want to see Becky Lynch and Charlotte as women tag team champions. Um, you know, I'm a big Becky Lynch fan. I enjoy her work. I think Charlotte's really good in the ring as well, but I just don't want that to happen. I want to keep the tag titles on the Kabuki Warriors. Don't play flip-flop here. Let the Kabuki Warriors keep those women's tag team championships and uh, I think that is what we need to do going forward. I just hope we get a really good match. That's all I'm hoping for out of this match, but I am going to go Asuka Kyrie Sane for the win. Hopefully, just Jesus Christ. Give me a good football game and give me the Kabuki Warriors for the W. And for our main event, ladies and gentlemen, we have the TLC match between the big dog Roman Reigns taking on Trash King Corbin here, and I do not care about this match. I really don't care about the outcome. I just don't want Trash Corbin to win. I could see him actually winning if maybe Dolph Ziggler or somebody gets involved in this thing, but I really hope Roman picks up the win. I just do not like Trash Corbin at all. If you guys are fans of the channel, if you've been here before, you know that he is my least favorite wrestler next to Lars Sullivan, and Trash Corbin is just trash, man. He's just trash. We don't need him winning any good football games. We don't need him beating any big-time talents. We don't need him doing anything good at all. So Trash Corbin should lose this matchup. Um, I hope that we get an entertaining match, I guess. You know, I'm, again, I'm not very much looking forward to it. So I just want a good match. That's really all I want out of this thing. But I'm going to predict Roman Reigns to win just to continue the momentum that he's had. You know, he defeated uh, Drew. He defeated Elias. He defeated Shane McMahon. He defeated people over and over and over again, so I think they're going to continue the momentum here. Getting another, you know, kind of meaningless feud win over Baron Corbin before moving forward into something bigger. I think he's going to win the Royal Rumble. That's my pick to win the Royal Rumble is Roman Reigns. So uh, I'm going to have Trash Corbin here with the loss and Roman Reigns should pick up the win over Trash and we'll see where it goes from there. But that is all the matches on this card. Again, no Intercontinental title, no US title, no WWE title, no women's title, being defended. It's kind of ridiculous. Besides those, the SmackDown Tag Titles, the Raw Tag Titles, and the Women's Tag Team Championships, that is all for our championship matches, which I guess that's fine. You know, it should be not as long of a show unless some of these matches go over, which they might just because, you know, we have all these stipulation matches. But nonetheless, guys, I'm going Roman Reigns over Trash Corbin, and that does it for my TLC 2019 full show predictions, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please let me know down in the comment section below who you think is going to walk out with the victory. Let let me know all of your predictions down in the comment section below. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm pretty tired. Going to go take a napsy. Probably get some break fast. And that's about it. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.